to do two one zero eyes and smiles and frozen nice job boys and girls all right okay so we are continuing our op art project for a third week and final week we're gonna finish it today definitely we're not quite um we're not quite finished with our projects uh pretty much uh grades k through six so we're going to continue one more week. So if you're working at home and you're you're finished already, well then you have a free day to just just do some art and be creative and send it to me. I'd love to see it. All right, boys and girls. So kindergarten through second grade, you're doing the op art hand, right? The op art hand. Look at that. Well, we've gotten about this far. So you've created your lines going horizontal and then your bumps that go over, creating the illusion of the hand popping out. Now it's time to color. So it's very important that you uh, take notice of the direction that you're coloring. So watch this. <clears throat> With your crayon, you're going to color side to side until you get to the hand. Then you're going to follow these lines that you made and you've outlined in black. These lines that bump over the hand, you're going to follow that direction with your crayon. So don't color up and down. Don't color side to side. You're going to bump over like this. You're going to make that curved line. Also, and that's for every other one. Also, you're going to create a pattern. So you're going to have one color, color number one, color number two, color number one, color number two, color number one, color number two. And remember to outline all those lines in black. Okay, now to have that shading effect that really kind of it kind of puts the icing on the cake when it comes to making it look 3D. You're going to want to as you're coloring, push a little harder right before the arm or the finger, push a little harder and push a little harder right as you start your bump and finish your bump and in between the fingers just like that. So you can pause this video at home and you can take a look at that and notice how I did that, how I made it darker right here, just by pushing a little harder, going over a few extra times. So side to side here, and then start your bump over the hand or the finger. You're going at a diagonal and on the way down too. And you might want to leave a little bit of white right in the middle to look like a, a uh, like a, a, a shine on there from the light. All right, boys and girls, you get to work kindergarten through second. I can't wait to see your artwork. Third through fifth, you're working on your, this project. Look at that. That's right. I think I called it converging poles. These look like straws, don't they? Going way back into the distance. All right. So you've probably gotten about this far and it's time to start coloring. We did, uh, <clears throat> just to back up a little bit, we made uh, inward curving lines, curving inward towards the dot on every other one here and outward curving lines that attach to those inward curving lines on every other one. All right, so when it comes to coloring, notice carefully the direction, just like kindergarten through second, the direction of the crayon or color pencil is gonna go the same direction as this bump right here, as this line that you've made, this curved line, the same direction. and you're going to make it darker here, so you're going to have to slowly, very lightly curve your lines. Leave a little white spot in the middle to show the shine. Curve your lines on this side, and then go over it again, a little pushing a little harder uh, towards from here, up about halfway, a little darker. Same thing, and you're going to alternate colors. Alternate colors, so these colors should be the same. Let me show you on this one. Now, you don't have to use these colors, but whatever color uh, pattern or choices, choices you use on this one, you have to use on this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And here as well, different color choices. Make it consistent. All right, so notice again how you're following the path of this line. So you're curving your uh, color pencil or your crayon. You're curving it, pushing harder here along the edges to show the depth, show that that's where the the light isn't shining when it wraps around. 
And you can finish it off with a very light color of black. I'm doing black very light going this way, just, just along the edges, just along the edges. And that just kind of very, very, very lightly. If you have a tough time making a light marks with your colored pencil, don't do it then. But uh, that just kind of helps to make it darker right in there. I'll make, here's a close up. All right. Go ahead and get started with that. I know that's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see your artwork. And sixth grade, you're working on your shading blobs, and you've probably gotten about this far. You've created one or a bunch of your blobs, and it's time to start coloring. And you're going to do the same kind of coloring um, method, where you're going to follow those lines, the curves of those lines, with your colored pencil. You're going to lightly color this way, and then you're going to push a little harder and color about halfway up, and even harder way down here and that shows the curvature and the depth and where the where the light isn't hitting leave the spaces in the middle white use your alternating color patterns and i can't wait to see your artwork all right boys and girls that's it and i hope you've enjoyed your lesson on op art here in class i'm going to be passing out all of your papers and your folders, your portfolios, you're going to put all those papers inside your portfolios. If you get done with your op art assignment, go through all those papers. And if there's anything that you haven't finished, well, today is the day to get that done. All right, boys and girls, have a great day. Enjoy. And I can't wait to see your art. Bye-bye. Sitting in your house in quarantine, getting old fast and you're losing steam. Break out a piece of paper, crayons, and a pencil. Tune in Mr. Allison's YouTube channel. So Kobe, 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 you don't bother me. Gonna make some art for everyone to see.